Hello guys, just Goron here and welcome to a new video. Today we are going to have a look at the Doom Eternal Showcase at E3 2019. I already had a look at it this morning when I woke up and I would like to share my thoughts with you. So let's just go over the entire showcase again and I'll give my comments on it. Now back when Doom Eternal had its first gameplay reveal, I already had some thoughts on it. I wasn't sure on some of the new animations, I thought some of them lasted a bit too long, even though they look awesome. I wasn't sure about all of the redesigns, uh, they kind of stuck with... They kind of redesigned all of the demons to be more accurate to the original Doom games, uh, rather than just going what they had in the 2016 remake, which I think is an interesting choice. And they show a lot of... New gameplay elements, a lot of uh, new traversal options, um, level design, and like pickups, like one-ups and things like that, which I'm not 100% sure about either. But of course, it's Doom. The, if the shooting's great, I'm sure everything will be fine. So let's just dive in and we'll have a look at what I think. I got like freaking Shadow of Mordor vibes from this, with all the wraiths and whatever. Not a lot to say about the trailer, but I'll probably skip to like points of the trailer when um, something happens that I want to explain with a piece of the trailer. To locations never seen before in Doom, from heaven and hell to the Sentinel homeworld and beyond. Yeah, not sure what they're going to be doing with with all these dimensions. I hope it doesn't get too complicated. In the first game, of course, you were traveling between hell and Mars. Now there's Mars, Earth. Hell, Heaven, Sentinel Dimension. Even though I thought the Sentinel Dimension was kind of transformed into Hell. If you read into the lore of the first 2016 Doom game. Um, yeah, curious. And here they're going to show like a bunch of level elements. Like switches, which... I guess it's fine, these walls, I feel like slow you down a lot more. That just feels like Mario, then you got double jump reset things, underwater parts, oh I didn't actually notice that the first time. I like the re-inclusion of the rat suit, I just feel like it's all, and, and there's nothing necessarily wrong with that, I guess we have to s wait and see until the game comes out. It feels a lot more arcadey and gamey rather than the 2016 Doom, which was very realistic. And there were switches, but they were like actual like computer screen switches where you had to like like hand scanners and things like that. Um, whereas now it's like oh you you shoot a button and a door opens. Which I'm not sure which I prefer. I f I feel like this is more traditional to original Doom, which is cool. Um, Doom 2016, of course, was like a reimagining of it um, in a more modern setting. I like that. <laughs> they're they're changing a whole lot, which is w what worries me. But it's I I guess it's a good thing because who wants just a copy of the same game? I'm gonna make a little side note here, a, a post scriptum, so to say, because of course what what what's difficult about this is is that we're trying to or the game designers are trying to strike a balance between realism and fun, I guess. Whereas, of course, the 2016 Doom game was quite realistic and that's very immersive, which I think is, is what you're trying to accomplish there, which is something that I quite enjoy um, because you're constantly in first person. You actually see him press the buttons and pick up items that's very immersive and that really makes you feel like you're the Doom Slayer. And that's a lot of fun. Um, whereas what the original Doom games have and what Doom Eternal is now going for is just these floating pickups like the hazmat suit. Um, and what that allows for is of course more fast paced gameplay, which I'm all for, and um, more diverse level design and, and more creative level design even. Being able to pick up a hazmat suit and then be invulnerable to a certain area, that is very interesting. Of course, Doom 2016 did this with like the invincibility power-up. Um, yeah, it, it's a balance. Um, 
I, I guess giving it more thought after my, my first reaction, it, it never really bothered me, but it bothers me even less now. Um, I'm, I'm sure they're very conscious about their decisions, and I'm, I'm very excited to see where it takes them. There's also the, the, the tracer blink, is what I'm going to call it, the, the, the kind of zip around, that I'm not exactly too keen on. It just feels kind of rough. <laughs> And there we have it for the first time, you heard a damage sound, and is it just me or does it just sound exactly like freaking Minecraft Steve taking damage in, in like old Minecraft? <coughs> Let me, let's just re-listen to that. <laughs> yeah, it's just... Ugh. And it just sounds so dumb to me. It, it really... Uh, we'll get to a part later on. Where they're showing like a big battle arena. It, it's really, really annoying. I I, I really dislike it. Uh, I really hope it, it either gets changed or there's an option to get rid of it. Because um, I'm gonna lose my shit. I don't know. I, I really dislike it. And let's just keep playing. I, I do like a lot of these animations. It's just that a lot of them feel slow although last time I with the previous reveal I did a comparison um, and there were only a few that were actually this one in particular is just a lot slower than the original mancubus kill animation and I feel like it just breaks it, it might once again I have to see for myself if I ever get the when, when I get to play it the only path to victory in doom eternal is to aggressively control the fight with amazing agility, power... It's interesting how they're talking about how the game is focusing on the combat and how they're also, you have to control the fight, but th what they showed was a lot of the traversal and the switches. They don't really touch on that a lot. I would like to hear more about their thought process in there because it, there, there, are, there seem to be a lot of platforming sections which I'm not necessarily too keen on. Like, it's a shooting game, not a platforming game. Um, and if they do it right, it can be very fun. Although, floating bars of fire a la Mario in my Doom game, I'm just not sure if it fits. Also, first-person platforming isn't always too great. So, we really have to wait and see. I just want it to be good, okay? Okay, so now we're getting a large battle sequence. And it seems like... What was that? I, I thought it was a triangle at first. But... RS, right stick. Okay, so they are playing on a, on a controller then. I think. Is it often called RS? Right stick? I think so. So that's... Maybe it's an Xbox thing, I don't know. But they're clearly playing on a console, which please just show me PC gameplay, because... I mean, it's less easy to look at, because it's more janky. But I want to experience it on a PC because it really changes what things are like. They, is that the same voice for Vega? If, when I first watched it, it felt kind of different. Now I feel like it is the same after all. We have some imps. Now here's what bothers me a little as well. Uh, we get to see the Slayer. Okay. It, I say bothers me. I feel like a lot of people are actually gonna love this. I just quite liked that in the original. In the, I say original, Doom 2016. Um, I don't think there's any point in the game except for the end credits, where you see the Slayer um, from third person. The entire game has a lot of first person animations and a lot of really good ones. And I just love that you're immersed in. The Slayer, you're the Slayer. I don't like the word Slayer either, but this game embraces it a lot, so I guess we'll have to go with it. Um, and now you get these third person enemies, and they look epic, but I don't know. And in the trailer as well, I guess I'll put that shot on right now. There's this little cutscene where you can actually like, see his face. 
and nowhere in the 2016 game did you see his face. Like his the shade of his helmet was too dark, and I really like that. It's like because it, it's he he doesn't have an identity, and it, you can easily you can put yourself into the character more easily if you never see his face. I think that's also why people like like masked superheroes so much more is because it's easier to imagine yourself being that hero. Um, of course, in the first Doom games, here we go again, uh, you always had the face of the Doom Slayer, or the Doom Marine, um, on the middle of the screen. So, again, they're taking more... I'm not sure if that's the best example, but it feels like they're catering more to the original, original Dooms from way back when. And that's cool for the old nostalgic fans of those games. I just think it's weird how in 2016 you completely reimagined and revamped your games and now you're stepping so far away from that and making a lot of yeah changing a lot of design decisions that I feel like were probably made very consciously but whatever so that's also interesting there's like a weapon pickup just out of nowhere I don't know if that's like the first time he finds that weapon, but yeah, it's again like more arcadey pickups. Whereas in Doom, you would find a new gun attached, like there's like a corpse holding a new weapon, and you pick it up, and he checks it out, and it's like, oh, cool, I've got completed a new weapon now. Smashing through walls, that's cool. And now we get to see. I really like the, the lightning effect on that gun. Here's the, the crossbow bolt type of thing. And there we have the Minecraft <laughs> damage sound again. You can also see the, the shoulder gun in action, which is probably like bound to a separate key, maybe right click or something. I don't like. I and mean, now we, we have a, a more of a feel of it. Um, I get, I'll just really quickly play that clip without me talking over it. And you can hear all the damage sounds in their full glory. I really dislike it. In the in, in 2016 Doom you had um, you could just hear like bullets impacting on your skin. You can hear like flesh kind of tearing you you could hear yourself getting punched, but no reaction because you're the freaking Doom Slayer. It doesn't matter. You can take it. Whereas now it's like, oh, I'm hurt. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> um, again, catering more towards the good old Dooms, um, where I feel like similar damage effects were present. That's. A, I was gonna say it's not quite a long animation, but it's a chainsaw, so that works. <laughs> Still love that one. So there's a lot of good animation work as well. I mean, all the animation work is good. I'm not shitting on the animators. It's incredible what they're accomplishing. Um, I just feel like some of them are a bit too slow. And in the first, in 2016 Doom, you also had, of course, the rune upgrade. Um, that allowed you to speed up certain animations. Which might help if they have something like that in this one. But even without that upgrade, a lot of these animations are quite a bit slower. It seems to be a, the melee attack seems to pack a bit more of a punch. See, that's, that's quite long. I'm, I want to compare that one to something in Doom 2016, because it just feels really slow. And maybe it's because they have more, like, impact frames. I don't know that much about animation, but obviously. I want to. That's a really cool one.
I really wonder what the button mapping is like, because it seems like... <laughs> it seems like most of the guns have like a primary secondary fire, like the lightning and the, the pulse of the... What is it? Plasma gun? This one is like the uber. Like if you compare that to the Mancubus from 2016 Doom, I think it's very noticeably slower. Um, ooh. Oh, he used a chainsaw, right. I, I have trouble keeping the... Like... The... Knife on his wrist and the chainsaw part. And here's something that... The cyber... Is this the... I feel like this is supposed to be the cyber demon. Or is it like a, a, a miniature cyber demon? He looks so much less menacing and awesome than... Because he does like the same pose as the cyber demon in Doom 2016. But it's so much less impressive. I think it's because he's smaller. But I feel like it's also just the overall design. He's like a lot more smooth and less... Yuck. <laughs> well, you don't have to wait too much longer. Not quite tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't mean to be shitting on everything, obviously. I'm sure it's gonna be a fun game. There's just a lot of stuff that bothers me a little bit, and I feel like it might add up. Ooh, a helmet. That's never gone wrong before. <laughs> Hoping this one goes better than Fallout. At least there's no canvas bag in this one. So, this should ease up some of the problems. It looks so sick, though. Save my wallet. Now they're gonna talk about the multiplayer, which I'm not that interested in. I'm actually gonna skip over it. Um, <clears throat> I mean, I haven't touched any of the multiplayer modes in 2016 Doom at all. Uh, in my like, what uh, what do I have? Like 150 hours of playtime, if not more, probably nearing 200 actually. Uh, Switch and PC combined. I have never touched the multiplayer, <laughs> so I've just been playing single player all this time, but. Yeah, uh, it's just, it's a cool mode, uh, too bad I don't have any friends, so. <laughs> so yeah, thoughts. Um, to sum it up, I am still excited for this game. I am just wary of a lot of the design decisions they made. There's a lot of things that I am unsure of. Uh, it feels a bit less polished, I suppose in a way, uh, where there's just item pickups floating around instead of like being physically in the level. I actually didn't see it on this watch, but I feel like somewhere there's like a one-up, which makes me wonder if there's like lives. Also the entire HUD is interesting. I wonder what that demonic corruption is. Of course here we have ammo, chainsaw ammo, Probably fuel for your flamethrower. Um, grenades. Some other sort of bomb, probably. Not sure about that. Um, health shields, that's obvious. Missiles? There's a lot more on the HUD, basically. Um, which will be interesting to see what all of that is. Uh, it does seem to change. Actually, over here we can see he has one. Let's see. Ah, oh, that's because it switched from one scene to another that it switches to zero. You didn't actually get to see him use it. That's a bummer. But yeah, overall, um, yeah, they're remaking it's, it's, it's weird to me, because it feels like they're re-reimagining the original Doom games in a completely different way than they, they did three years ago. Um, rather than taking off where they left off with Doom 2016, even though the story continues there and probably a lot of the animation assets and, and of course, technical aspects are going to be taken from there. 
and a lot and the design of the Doom Marine has been re-upgraded, but all of the demons have been redesigned more based on original Doom games. Uh, a lot of level design aspects with the hazmat suit, things like that. I know I sound like really negative about it. It's not necessarily a bad thing. I just think it's weird that they changed so much. But only time will tell whether... Is that a giant explosive barrel? What is that? <laughs> it looks like the explosive barrel from 2016 Doom. But it's probably supposed to be something else. Postscript in 2. Uh, it is an explosive barrel after all. That's cool. Um, all in all, still excited for this game. Really looking forward to getting it to play it on November 22nd. I hope that I worry for nothing. Because, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff that I, I worry about that they're gonna kind of, well, ruin is a big word, but lessen the experience for me, I guess, is a way to put it. Um, yeah, just have to wait and see. So that about sums up my thoughts. Thank you guys for watching. If you watched all the way through, greatly appreciate it. I'm making this video as I should be writing my final report for my final bachelor project, which means I should get back to that mostly, but it also means that I am nearly done with school, with my bachelor even. Um, well, not entirely, but that's another story. Basically what I'm trying to say is hopefully over the summer break, I'll have some more time to make more videos. No promises, because that's what I did last time and I haven't uploaded in almost a year. <laughs> but we'll see what happens. Anyway, just watching. I'm stealing someone's intro. Bye-bye. <laughs>